What's up everybody, Alex, the day trading champ. If you're looking for all the earnings releases uh, this week for week one earnings season, you found the right video, guys. I put together the table, everything you need, all in one place. Um, and then we're going to give you our initial thoughts and a couple trade setups we've already got planned for next Monday. So with that being said, if you like trading ideas, plans, and videos like this, this is absolutely the channel for you. So make sure you're subscribed and then drop a like if you enjoy uh, what we're going to do here. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into it. Okay, so guys, here's the earnings table for the week. All right, we got so many. All right, so this is awesome because it gives you tons of trading ideas. Okay, so what I have here is just color coded uh, in blue and pink. Okay, so last week you remember I color coded them by sector. We're not going to do that this time because there's just way too many. Okay, so what you want to do here is focus on the blue for the most part. Okay, the blue is what I'm looking at, uh, what I'm going to be paying the most attention to. And then obviously the pink is kind of extras um, that you absolutely can generate some trading ideas from. Okay, but mostly we're focusing on the blue. Um, these are more of the heavy hitters going into the week. Okay, and we've already got a couple ideas actually planned. Okay, so um, you're going to see we're actually about to go over a couple trading ideas we have. Um, for Monday, okay, so you know that's actually before some of these earnings releases, okay, and I want to share those with you right now, okay. So headed into this week, guys, I'm gonna let you know right now we've got a very bearish outlook uh, for pretty much everything all across the board. I mean, if you're not comfortable shorting, uh, you know this might not be the best week ever for you, okay, and you might want to sit out a little. Well, obviously, there's gonna be some plays to the long side, but uh, for the most part, uh, most of these are looking pretty bearish, and we're definitely gonna be ready to short. Uh, when we need to okay so with that being said let's get into the first uh, trade we were looking at EW e okay and you can see this on Monday we're actually looking to possibly short it now this stock does not have the greatest trading range ever you see the most it'll ever move in a day is like you know two ish three points okay so uh, the strategy here on Monday is most likely not going to be to go out of the money at all you actually want to go at the money or just barely out of the money okay sell it by one strike okay so say this thing opens at 85 on monday you'll be wanting to buy probably 85 strike puts okay and what i like about this is yeah the daily trading range is not so significant here but what you do have is a very high probability uh, for a move to the downside. Now, what I want to say is that this is not some trade that's going to take you from 2K to 10K here. Uh, this is just some, you know, guaranteed cash. Okay, so if you're looking for a heavier hitter going into this next week, um, I would actually save that day trade, right, if you only have three and, and wait for another uh, trade we're posting. Okay, these are just a couple trading ideas I've got. And this actually has really nothing to do with earnings, even though it is one of the earnings plays we have here that's releasing on Wednesday. Okay, but I really like this chart for Monday short. Okay, and honestly, everything is pretty much shortable uh, next Monday, it looks like as of now. Okay, so I really like the chart here. You got dying momentum on the MACD distribution. I mean, everything is just perfect here. Okay, so we're not going to get into all the details. This video is going to be long enough as it is. Okay, so that's the first trading idea we've got planned. And we're about to get into the second trading idea we've got planned, which is actually also going to be another short play um, on Monday. So let's get right into that one. All right, guys, before we get into that next trade, I just want to point out that I might have missed a couple of stocks on this earnings table, but you have to realize this is what I believe to be the best earnings table for options traders specifically, right? Because with options, uh, the benefit of them is being able to leverage so that way you can trade these higher price stocks. Okay, so we like to put a lot more of, you know, hundred plus dollar stocks on here. Um, as opposed to, you know, penny stocks that are like five or two dollars that you might be anticipating to buy shares on. Uh, after earnings okay so it's a different style okay and this is more directed for options traders okay so with that being said we're gonna get into the next um, the trade that we got planned and by the way if you think I missed out on any important ones just let me know down in the comment section below okay so APH is the next trade we got planned okay so let me pull this one up alright it's the same thing kinda topping formation uh, with distribution at the top um, and it looks like it's very bullish, right? It looks like it's on a huge uptrend, but it's at the top end of its range. And there's just a lot of factors here. Okay, so we like this trade a lot too. Now, notice once again, not a crazy trading range here. But what you do have, once again, is a very high probability for a move lower. All right, so my confidence in these trades would be a 90% chance move to the downside on Monday. Okay, so, you know, that's a very high probability setup. Now, is it the most profitable? No, but if you can secure some cash on a guaranteed trade, uh, we'll always take that, okay? So, like I said, once again, if you're waiting to hit these bigger 
hits, right? Like Tesla or, um, you know, one of those Netflix, you know, uh, then you probably want to save your day trades for those. But these are for people who are trying to make, you know, some guaranteed quick cash. I think these are some very high probability setups that you should look into on Monday. Okay, so that's the second trade we've got planned for the day. And um, the last important point we probably need to make going into this week, guys, is you will notice we have some, you know, lower price stocks. And I said that we mostly like you know, stocks that are above $100, but for example, we got Snap, American Airlines here, and those are pretty cheap, right? Snap's only like, what, 27 bucks, American Airlines, 12 bucks, I think. So uh, the significance here is not necessarily to trade them, although I think American Airlines could be a good trade, and we're going to actually probably make a video on that later, maybe. Um, but the thing about Snap is not necessarily that you need to trade Snap, but understand that it's super important because if Snap drops, right, then what else will probably drop? Probably Facebook or, you know, some other kind of social media type thing. Okay, so that's why it's so important is understanding that correlation there and understanding American Airlines is dropping. Then, you know, some other travel stocks might be dropping. Obviously, you don't want to hit um, United Airlines uh, because it already dropped last week after its earnings. Okay, so you probably want something that hasn't um, hit its earnings yet. That would probably have a stronger reaction to American Airlines. Okay, guys, I wanted to point out something interesting about this EW chart. Okay, so you'll notice here that the bottom uh, would be 74.75. Okay, and what you'll notice here on the option chain is there's 115 contract volume on 75 strike. Okay, so obviously there's like no volume on any of these contracts here. Okay, but there, there's some decent volume, and you'll see it ramp up a little next week. These will be tradable. Okay, don't worry. Um, but it's just interesting to see that you got this big volume on the 75 strike so someone might be expecting uh their earnings to be bad here okay and them to drop off coming here so you know that's not necessarily a fact or anything that's just kind of a neat observation uh, but obviously nothing to take your trade off based off of okay like i said we're not going to go out of the money like that we're still going to play uh very close to the money or even in the money okay and what i like about these is that they do expire uh, pretty much next week actually okay now what I don't like about APH which was the other trade we had is you'll notice these are 34 days out and I really don't like that because you're gonna be paying a lot more per contract okay so if I had to pick one I definitely like this EW more okay and there actually does look like a lot of downside potential within the next week which is really nice okay so really like this trade here actually um, and you'll see you know it actually trades on pretty decent volume here Obviously, the market's closed. It's Saturday here, so you're not going to get a good read on what they're actually, you know, the contracts are going for. Uh, but I definitely like that trade. I'm sure you've never heard of that stock. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the plan here. Just a couple of trading ideas. Trust me, we're going to have way more uh, going into the next week. These are kind of, I wouldn't say junk uh, trades, but they're kind of just some extra trades, um, you know, if you can take them. Um, but obviously, I would wait for some other trades we put on the channel that are going to be, you know, more heavy hitter hitters where you can take your account you know from 2k to, to 10k if you play it right you know what i mean these some larger percent returns because you'll notice here um with tesla and netflix i believe netflix i think has a daily trading range of like 30 post earnings and tesla has a daily trading range of about 21 okay so it's pretty ridiculous on those right you catch a 20 point move in tesla um, I mean, you can cash out 5x on the day, okay? So that's what, you know, you want to do if you got a smaller account, guys. And, and you'll be looking at the Tesla contracts, and it might be expensive, right? You might be paying $1,000 for a Tesla contract. You might only have $2,000 in your account, but it's not about the price of the contracts. It's about how profitable they can be, okay? So if you can buy a contract for $1,000, and it turns out to be 5000 by the end of the day, sure, you paid 1000 which might seem like half your account. It might seem like a lot, okay? But as long as you know how to actually get in and get out, all right, uh, you'll be all right there, and it's going to be way more worth it than trying to buy, you know, like 20 contracts of American Airlines for 10 cents, you know what I mean? And and that's actually not a good example because American Airlines is pretty sweet, and I'll show you why here. Okay, so you'll see American Airlines trades at, you know, 1246, uh, what we usually consider a junk stock, but here's the thing about American Airlines is it has a daily trading range of about $2 post earnings, I believe. Okay, so when you realize that this thing can move $2, $2 out of 12 uh, guys, that's what, almost 20% in one day? Whereas a 20-point move in Tesla is not even close to being, you know, 20% uh, of the share price. Okay, so uh, there's different ways to look at it. Uh, usually you want to look and measure in, in terms of percentage, okay? And, and that's going to give you a lot better 
um, ideas when it comes to which stocks you actually should be trading because you see a lot of people making the mistake of trying to trade options on these you know two dollar three dollar stocks and, and you know that means for it to go up one dollar it's going up twenty five percent which is pretty ridiculous usually you don't see stocks go up twenty five percent in a day right so it's all about knowing your stock and how much it can actually move in a day and that's how you'll know what what you know stocks are going to be good to trade options on if you've been making that mistake of trading uh, the wrong stocks okay so I try to focus on what we have here in the earnings table okay um, and if you got the time these pink stocks you might find something really nice there okay so let me know um, if you find a trade you think I'm missing obviously we got a, a ton plan and like I always say make sure you have that bell on so you don't miss out on the next trading idea all right, guys, if you got any questions, anything you think I missed that I should touch up on, you got any video ideas, anything for me, just let me know, guys. And I want to see some of you starting to uh, plan some of your trading ideas in the Reddit we have, okay? Um, all right, guys, if you're one of the day trading champs that made it to the end of the video, big thank you to you. I really appreciate it. All right, let me know if you made it to the end. And obviously, you, you need any help with anything, just let me know. All right, that's what I'm here for. Uh, guys, drop a like if you haven't yet, and then obviously make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next trading idea idea that's going to help you, okay? Uh, so I'm Alex, the Day Trading Champ. Let's have a monster week, and I'll see you guys on the next one.